welcome back to the Legend of Heroes Trails to Ajua, where we are back on the ancient battlefield because we weren't finished here. Also, new monsters because we dealt with the war hunts. There's also that. Yeah, and you, were, you, you reflect the physical attacks for the totem. Um, vampiric fawn, a plant that grows by sucking the nutrients from its prey, and pairs foes with its fawns. And... Ah! Wrong one! We just had you. Cost shield. Used by the Berserkers of the Middle Ages, can reflect physical attacks and cause confusion. Living Totem depicts the gods of the Middle Ages. The carved head chants a variety of arts. Solar Pendulum. There was a fishing hole here. It's gone now. Yeah, there was a fishing hole here. It's gone now. The chest tries to swallow you whole, but doesn't find you very digestible. Face Hell is frozen over. Obtained EP3 quartz. You killed my only friend, so tell me, who's a real monster here? Yeah. 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 
Sabbath Demon. A strange monster of sapid masses in its body. Harnesses Carnelia Septium to breathe fire. Night Griefs. Presenting our delicious addition to the new and approved special support set. The same dishes you know and love, now with the Caesar salad and a refreshing glass of Noel Mom. Noel Monet. Okay. Hmm. Underground passage. It's a fishing spot, but not this episode. I think I do it off screen fishing here. No treasure chest here either. The door is shut tight. A zoo, a vile bird of prey that scavenges for corpse meat. Mind free. I wanted to be a music box, but I couldn't carry a tune. Bomb. 44 of 61. Oh, shut up. Genevieve hopped just enough to grip it and pull it downward. Both of their hands on the chest now, and neither one appeared to have any intention of letting go. And then, to Genevieve's shock. It would have been a crime not to open me. What charge, you ask? Resisting a chest. That path is also locked off. Yeah. 
Yamas Purga Tofu. 45 of 61. Cyril burst into laughter. It almost caused her to loosen her grip on the chest, but his laughter became so ridiculous that he let go to muffle his mouth, allowing her to hack it possessively against her. She watched him perplexed. Huh, locked again. No apparent way in. I wonder if a red constellation is hiding in the sun fort. Or maybe just hey, you, we have seen them here after all, but so they seem to be close by. Master Quartz upgraded. Oh, and Saccharine Tomashin. Saccharine Tomashin, plant monster that is entirely sweet. Tasting it makes you lose your mind. <laughs> Intimidation. Thought you could get more, did you? Sorry, pal. No duplicates. Just let me. But I think I got everything here. Okay, next is the charity event where they need help. It doesn't look like they're coming. About giving up on this whole idea, Roy? Are you serious, Grandpa? We're holding this charity drive to raise everyone's spirits. We can't just cut the main attraction. What would we even do? Replace it? With what? I understand that, Roy, but... Uh, sorry to interrupt your conversation, you two. Oh, it's the SSS. It's good to see you again, Lloyd. Are you here for the charity drive? Well, if I'm not mistaken, your association requested our assistance with the event. I don't recall anything of a sort. That's because I was the one who sent it. What? Just when did that happen? I did it in secret a little while ago. I can give you guys a rundown real quick. That is, if you have a time for it. For a good cause. Sure, we'd be happy to help out. Awesome. Let me explain the request in full then. As you're all aware, we're holding a charity drive in the Civic Center today. 
We've got a piano performance and a buffet lined up right now, but there's just one problem. And that would be? Well, I had a special program planned for later. It's supposed to be our main event, but we're short on participants. Uh, things are at a total standstill. The request that mentions something like that. What is this event exactly? It's a Miss Crossbell pageant, Work It Working Girl edition. So it's a beauty contest then? Hey, you won't hear me complain, I'm a pro at scoping out babes. The subtitle is rather cringe inducing, however. How do you figure? Who better to honor than the working women of our city, right? That being said, we've barely gotten any participants. Only three women have entered to take part so far. That's not nearly enough to hold a pageant. At this rate, cancellation would be the only logical step to take. Well, it's not as if I can't understand why most would be hesitant to go through with this. I have a feeling I know where we fit into this picture. Yep, it's exactly what you're thinking. I'd like you guys to scout out some women in the workforce who'd be willing to compete in the pageant. Alright, I think we get the idea. You mentioned that you already have three participants. Who are they exactly? The first is Cynthia. She's one of the receptionists at Times Department Store. Next is Eris, a back alley holsters. Last but not least, I got to be okay from Officer Kate at the CBD. Wow, I can't believe you actually managed to convince her. A receptionist, a hostess, and a cop, huh? That's some nice variety you got there. What other kind of working women are you looking for? Let's see. I'm looking for a waitress, an artisan, a maid, and a sister from the church. I think these four occupations would strike a very nice balance together. Ideally, I'd love to have a nurse or a member of Archon's here participate too. That would be nigh impossible. After Ilya's recent injury, Archon's here suspended operations. And St. Ursula has its hands full attending to the recent influx of patients. No surprise there. Anyway, we know what our, what our job is. We found you a waitress, an artist, and a maid, and a church sister, just like we asked. Great, we'll start the page as soon as we can, once we've gathered everyone. I'm counting on you. An artisan, so maybe Wendy. Hey Lloyd, what can I do for you? Say, wouldn't Wendy be perfect for the artisan role of the pageant? I kinda doubt it's her thing, but I guess it wouldn't hurt to ask. Hey Wendy, you got a minute? Lloyd asked Wendy if she would be interested in participating in the charity pageant. Pageant? What the heck is that? Some kind of newfangled orbital component or something? What? No, come on Wendy, have you seriously never heard of a pageant? Leave it to an engineer to be completely ignorant of the outside world. <laughs> I'm just pulling a leg. I know what a beauty pageant is. Sounds interesting, and, well, sure, I'm down to give it a try. You are? Really? Well, there's a shock. You're the last person I expected to join, no offense. <laughs> None taken. You know what they say. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Besides, how am I going to turn down a request from an old pawn like Lloyd here? I've got some work I need to finish before things start, so just give me a ring when you need me. Yeah, will do. Thanks a bunch, Wendy. So, a waitress. Maybe here. Uh, um, no, no? No. Maybe I can invite her to the page as our waitress? Excuse me, miss. I'd like to ask you a question. Lloyd asked Nono if she would be interested. What? You want me to take part in a beauty pageant? I appreciate the thought, really, but I just don't think it's for me. Alright, sorry for putting you on the spot like that. Hey, thanks, Bender. We'll come later. Okay. Some gift. You for me? So, Ilya was the one living on the third floor this entire time. I finally figured it out once Sully came to pick up her belongings. Learning the truth should have made me happier than anything, but all it does is remind me of what happened to her. Sully hasn't had any spark in her eye for a while now, either. That poor girl. Hope she should be better soon. So not you, but um, we 
the lady from Mac from McDowell's. Uh, what's her name? Joanna. Hello, Lady Ellie SS. Hey, why don't we have her play the role of a maid in the pageant? Not a bad idea, Vazi. She already is one, after all. Do you mind asking her for us, Ellie? I don't, but I'm not sure she'll agree. Joanna has always been timid. I have a request for you, Joanna. Yes, if it's coming from you, Lady Ellie, I'll happily oblige. Lady asked Joanna if she would be interested in participating in the charity pageant. A pageant? I, I beg your pardon? That's a rather delayed reaction. Uh, me participating in a pageant? I, I, I could never... Ah, oh, come on, you'll be fine. I'm giving you the official Wendy seal of approval. As if it means anything. My apologies, Joanna. I didn't mean to pressure you. We'll find someone else. I'm sure we can ask around for another mate who's willing to, to participate. Just a moment, my lady. After some considering, I, I, I would like to participate after all. Wow, that would be great, but why the sudden change of heart? Well, if my lady should request anyone to play the role of mate, it should be me, her actual mate. Ah, thank you, Joanna. But if it turns out to be too overwhelming, it's okay to pull out, alright? Yes, my lady, please call me when it's time. I'll be there as soon as I'm able. Thanks, Joanna. We appreciate it. Hello, we're holding mass today. You're more than welcome to attend the cathedral and the goddess would love to have you. I think we may have found our sister for a pageant. I wonder if she'd be willing. Excuse me, there's something we'd like to ask you. Lloyd asked Sister Juju if she would be interested in participating in the charity pageant. Oh my goodness, me in a beauty pageant? No, I couldn't. There's no place for someone like myself. I'm not nearly vivacious enough. I'm sorry to turn you down, but it would be best if you found someone else. That's too bad. Maybe we can find Reese somewhere? That's not Reese, that's Arios. We deal with him another time. She could be the sister, um, something we'd like to ask you about. Oh my, to think I'd be scouted for a beauty pageant of all things. I do apologize, however. There are other duties I have to see to here. Oh well, that's okay. I understand there's nothing you can do about that. Let's ask Reese. Helping with mass today, Reese? Yes, I am. The cathedral has had more worshippers than usual for today's services. They've had their homes attacked and their lives endangered. I know exactly how that feels. Reese? Sounds like she went through a, a similar tragedy once upon a time. Just between us, the Congregation of the Sacraments is still deliberating over what actions to take in response to this incident. In the meantime, I intend to gather as much information as I can while I'm still in Crossbell. I would advise you all to be cautious on how you move forward from this as well. While you're still in Crossbell. We understand. You take care of yourself out there too, Reese. By the way, was there something else you wanted to talk to me about? Well, now that you mention it... I almost forgot we need a sister for a pageant, and after giving her a second look, I'd say we found her. I was thinking the same thing. Let's give it a shot. Yeah, there's something I wanted to talk to you about, Reese. Lloyd asked Reese if she would be interested in participating in the charity pageant. A beauty pageant? I admire that it's for charity, but I still have so many responsibilities to see to here at the cathedral. And I'm not sure how appropriate it would be to participate as a sister of a church. You raise a good point. Shoot, just when I thought we were finally gonna see Reese throughout her stuff. <laughs> well, I do still think they're working toward a good cause. Is it only a patient or are they hosting other attractions as well? And um, I think there's more to it. Do you remember to you? A piano, a settle, and buffet table have been arranged for the event. I've changed my mind. It would be my honor to participate in the pageant. Do I have a sudden change of heart? Was it a buffet that was it? <laughs> I have a feeling it was. In any case, I still have to assist with Mars for a little while longer. Contact me again when it's time for the pageant to start. We will.
even is a bit. <sighs> Sully is taking all this much harder than the rest of us. Ilya was hurt protecting her, she still blames herself for it. I wanted to see if we could ask, but considering it would probably be a bit tasteless, it's probably for the better that we didn't. Because the only one who could probably participate would be uh, the main star, so Ilya, Risha, and Sally, but none of them are able to do that right now. How about Shanshan as our page and waitress? She looks a little down about something, but I try asking her anyway. Excuse me, Shanshan, could I have a moment of your time? What's up? Lloyd asked Shanshan if she would be interested in participating in the charity pageant. Oh, that thing. I really turned down Roy when he asked me earlier. And with Risha gone, I don't really feel up to it. You must really miss her? Well, in that case, you shouldn't force yourself. Sounds like he still hasn't come to terms with her leaving, huh? Yeah. I've been so depressed, I think it's starting to wrap off on our customers, too. It's like I'm bringing down the whole restaurant. Well, how about this? You could always participate in page as a way of cheering yourself up. Why regret sitting it out on, in the future? We may as well give it a shot. Huh. Good point. Okay, count me in. I'm gonna do everything I can to pump up a party. I'll walk on stage, wish for continental peace, and even wear a bikini if I have to. I don't think it's that kind of page in Shan Shan. <laughs> well, either way, I guess that's a yes. You bet. Call me when it's time to start, okay? I won't be late. Sure thing, Shan Shan. We'll see you there. Alright, that's the last participant we needed to find for the agent. Let's head back to the Civic Center and give Roy and the Chairman more the news. Stupid idea. Can we ask Ashley? Oh, hey, the SSS. So what the whole wait fiasco? What do you guys take on it? Straight to the point. Uh, there's still a lot of unanswered questions as to what the motive was. All we can say for sure at the moment is that the Earth Constellation was the one responsible. And as for who was pulling the strings behind them, the Imperial government is the obvious culprit to jump to, being the most recent employer. Yeah, that's been a word on the street for a while now. You ask me, that doesn't explain why we made a sudden retreat, but hey, what do I know? That reminds me, you guys fought back Walt in this demonized form, yeah, yeah. Yep, that was definitely him, all right. He put up a tough fight, too. I take it he was doped up on a crazy drug, huh? I mean, a pill that turns you into a monster? When the hell does a guy even find something like that? We've been wondering that ourselves. And there's an investigation underway, so nothing about his supplier has come to light. <laughs> so the cops don't know Jacker either. Nothing I hate more than being out of a loop. To make matters worse, business has been in the crapper this week, too. Now that the state's all worked up over public safety. Then there's the neighborhood. I've been living in downtown for a bit now. I've never seen it like this. Maybe it's time to pack our bags and find somewhere else to set up a shop. I'm sorry to hear that, Ashley. Can't say I don't get it. Sometimes you just have to shove off and move on. You've got some rock solid connections, so I'm sure you'll land on your feet one way or another. Well, yeah, I'm not out of the door just yet. I gotta think about what's best for Jingo, too. Won't be long before I have to start planning out our future. Burns my ass being out of a loop on what's going on in this place. Gotta think about what's best for Jingo, too. No, but I thought it would be funny if we could ask her. Good. You're back. Did you find anyone willing to participate in the pageant? I remember, I was looking for a waitress, an artisan, a maid, and a sister from the church. Yep, we managed to get all four. 
All we have to do is call them before the pageant starts. Oh yeah? Finally, some good news. The piano concert's just about to finish over on our end. Talk about perfect timing, eh? Now we don't have to call off a big event. Thank goodness for that. Good work, boy. It's nice to finally see my bump on the lock of a grandson apply himself. What's with a backhanded compliment? Well, anyway, the page is about to start. You guys ready to feast your eyes? Bring on the working women. All good to go. You contact the participants now. Cool, thanks for that. Oh, baby, I can't wait to see those ladies strut their stuff. You'll be lucky to strut out of here without a restraining order of five. I should go and prepare the venue. Would you mind taking care of the hosting duties, Roy? You can count on me, Grandpa. That wraps up our part. How will things go from here is in the hands of a goddess now. I suppose we could use a break. We're workers too, after all. Yeah, it's not like we haven't done it. Let's get in touch with participants and let them know we're waiting then. Wow, Reese has been on a cross-table taste tour since the second she walked in. It's a little too easy to pick her out from a crowd with that habit on. <laughs> Perhaps so, yes. But frankly, I can't blame her considering how delicious this buffet is. Looks like all the restaurants in town hooked this event up with some seriously good eats. I even see some of that spicy mapo tofu from Long Lao over there. Oh, I need to get myself a bowl before they run out. <laughs> You guys make for a real tight-knit team. And with food this delicious, there's no way this event won't be a success, right? One can hope, at least. Come on, Vazi. This is for charity. Try not to be such a downer. By the way, Kate, you don't seem the least bit nervous about taking part in the pageant. We expected otherwise, seeing as headquarters has been practically buried in work since the raid. Right. I was waffling on it when I first got invited. But then Chief Yolik encouraged me to participate. So here I am. Oh, how nice of him. In times like these, we have to do everything we can to support our citizens. In that sense, we're copying your team's MO. That's flattering, but I'm not sure we're anything worth imitating. Oh, that's mine. Excuse me for a moment. Mrs. Officer Kate speaking. Yes? Yes? Understood. I'll be there ASAP. Is everything alright, Kate? The timing couldn't have been worse, but something came up at work. I have to go. I don't feel great about it, but I'm going to have to drop out of a pageant. Seriously? Damn, that's rough. But we get it. If duty calls, duty calls. Yeah, sorry about this, guys, but I've got to get moving. Would you mind apologizing to Roy for me? Don't worry, Kate. We'll take care of it. Thanks. I owe you one. What a pity. I wish she could have at least stayed to chat a while longer. Me too. Hey guys, enjoying yourselves? It's almost time for the pageant to start. Could you do me a favor and help one of the participants? Um, where did the police officer go? Well, about that. Lloyd explained that Kate was called away for a work-related emergency. What? Well, that's just great. What the heck are we supposed to now? Oh, got it. Can I get one of you to fill in the role of policewoman? What? You want one of us to stay on stage? Well, now you've got my attention. Come on, ladies. How many times in your life are you going to get a golden opportunity like this? Give it a shot. That's easy for you to say, Randy. You're not the one who has to get up there. Please, I'm begging you. This event isn't just about raising funds for reconstruction efforts. It's also meant to lift the spirits of our citizens. This for the sake of every cosplayer. Well, when you put it like that, how do the rest of you feel? I have no objection. Technically, I'm a member of the CGF, not the police, but I doubt that's going to get me out of this. Perfect. All right, then, which one of you is going to enter the pageant? How about you pick our lucky and trend, Lloyd? Why me? You're the leader of the SSS. If anybody knows which of our gals has the goods, it's you. Besides, I'm a short. And do you really want to sow the seeds of discontent by making them pick between themselves? 
Okay, fine. Let's see. Who should I volunteer for a pageant? Ellie. How about you, Ellie? M me? Well, fine, if I absolutely must. I'll try to work myself through the embarrassment somehow. Not like we haven't done worse. I'm sure you'll get the hang of it once you're on stage. True, but this is a different kind of pressure from being in combat or mid-investigation. Not only that, but she isn't properly dressed for a theme. Eking out a win would be an uphill battle. Backwards, even. How about we spin it another way? Say you're a plainclothes officer or something. Would have been a more idea with a green skirt, with a blue blazer, with a peak cap and so on, but what can you do? He's really fixated on the whole woman in uniform bit, isn't he? Either way, there should be enough for us to keep a pageant going. Good luck out there, Ellie. We will cheer for you. Thanks, you too. I give it my best. Come on. We don't have much time. We gotta go get ready backstage. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the moment you've all been waiting for. It's a Miss Crossbell pageant. Work it, working girl edition. Okay, so here's how the contest will go. Each participant will appear on stage and give a few words to try and appeal to the crowd. Each method should contain a greeting or an expression common in their field. After every lady has said their tone, write the name of the one you find most charming on your ballot. Whoever garners the most votes will then be awarded the title of Miss Crossbell. With that, let's get this thing started. It's time to show your stuff, ladies. First up, entry number one. The sweetly innocent receptionist of a Times department store, Miss Cynthia. Welcome to Times department store. Please let me know if there's anything I can help you with. Wasn't it fantastic? Just how many people has she blown away with classy professionalism? And by the way, fellas, she is single. Who ever wouldn't want a date with a catch like her? On the next one, entry number two. A lone rose with a charm of a butterfly dancing in the back alley's moonlight. It's Miss Eris. Thanks for choosing me. I'm all yours for tonight. Let's drink the night away. Bravo! Did you catch the perfect kiss? You can share a toast with an enchanting Miss Eris at her club in the back alley. But remember, only virgin cocktails for all you miners out there. So, let's keep the ball rolling. It's time for entry number three. An angel from the east. We all know her as Long Lao's waitress. It's a spectacular Shan Shan. Welcome. How many are in your party? Daddy's cooking with the best around, so make sure you order lots, okay? That is the smile that takes your breath away, doesn't it, folks? As the face of Long Lao, Shan Shan is incredibly popular on East Street. I just happen to be a huge friend myself. Unfortunately, your father, Zhang Hui, might cave in your head with a walk if you try anything funny. Don't place an order for this dish unless you're willing to pay it with your life. Alright, let's see it for entry number four. The beautiful orbital engineer of Genton. It's a spectacular Miss Wendy. Um, I don't have anything prepared for this occasion, but if you got an orbital that needs tinkering, I'm a girl. Wow, her reliability is also charming. Don't go smashing your opponents just to have an excuse to see her, though. I heard she's no stranger to braining people with her wrench. Would you look at that? We've already reached entry number five. Next, we have a magnificent maid responsible for serving crossbow speaker, Henry McDowell. Give it up for Miss Joanna. Um, um. Oh, welcome home, master. Uh, if you excuse me, then... Oh, ho, ho, ho. Who said meds have to be stuffy? Something about this girl just hits you like a breath of fresh air. I bet some of our audience members are starting to feel awfully jealous of Speaker McDowell right about now. We're almost there, everyone. It's time for entry number six. She's a pure hearted woman of the cloth who's devoted her earthly existence to that big A in the sky. It's Miss Reese. The teachings of the Septian Church live on in the hearts of a people. May the Goddess guide you all. 
Oh, how divine. Folks, I think we just witnessed the birth of a new saint. Is this really the same girl who was wolfing down everything at the buffet earlier? Last but certainly not least, it's entry number 7. A member of the CBD special support section, her family pedigree is as long and distinguished as her beautiful flowing locks. It's Miss Ellie McDowell. Right, I'm supposed to say something to the audience. What shall I do? Declare them under arrest. Hence where I can see them. In accordance with crossbow state law, I hereby place you under arrest. Bravo, bravo. Who knew being held up by a policewoman could be so stimulating? And there you have it. All seven contestants have now had their time to shine. Let's have a big round of applause for our lovely ladies on stage. After a brief pause, the audience put in their votes. Reese elected to drop out just prior, stating that it wouldn't be fair for her to compete in an, as a non cross -bellon. The audience then proceeded to select a winner from the six remaining girls. I get a ballot too, so I might as well vote. In the interest of fairness though, I probably shouldn't choose a co-worker. Now let's see, who do I vote for? I go for Shanshan. Okay, I think I go with Shanshan. And finally... Once we've announced the results of a page, the second event of the day will come to a close. And now the winner of the very first Miss Crossbell pageant, the contestant who will be taking home the grand prize... Entry number three, Miss Shanshan. In recognition of your victory, it's my honor to present you this commemorative plaque. <laughs> Thanks a bunch. But that's not all. The judges would like to select another contestant for honorable mention. Entry number seven, Miss Ellie. In recognition of your outstanding effort, it's my honor to present you with this other commemorative plaque. Here you go. Receive page and keepsake plaque. <laughs> Quite thank you. That's the end of a Miss Crossbell pageant. The buffet will be reopened shortly, so grab a bite and we'll see you at the cook off and general arts class later. And so the charity pageant came to a close. Page went off without a hitch. We couldn't have done it without you guys. Thanks again for gathering all those lovely ladies up for us. You're very welcome. We enjoyed ourselves too. I was quite expecting to come out of it with an award though. Well, I was. No one surprised you that well up there, Ellie. Yes, you played the role perfectly. Well, everyone had a grand old time, and we managed to collect plenty of mirror for the reconstruction effort to boot. My head's off to you, Roy. Turns out that you had a winning idea for once. Why couldn't you just have said good job or something? Oh well, anyway, since this was a special occasion, I'd like you guys to have this. We prepared it specifically for the winning contestant in mind. But think of it as a memento of today's event. Attack free. Well, really? Thanks so much, Roy. For real, man. That was one hell of a show you put on. You're just hoping we get more events like this in the future? Yeah, definitely. Anyway, I think we just get going now. Of course, thank you again. Keep on keeping on, SSS. Charity case. Good, but I end this episode here. Until next time, when we play more The Legend of Heroes Trails to Azure, I'm Mace, and don't get lost. <laughs>